Hey guys, uh, this is Pradeep from seleniumframework.com. Um, this video we will explore browser stack, um, the similar cloud infrastructure service provider, um, very similar to SAS Labs, and uh, take a look how it uh, helps us do cross-browser testing both manually and automated fashion. Um, again, in this video, like we have uh, talked about in SAS Labs uh, video, we will focus mostly on the web browsers. The mobile browsers will be in a separate video. Okay, um, that said, so if we hit browserstack.com, we are on the landing page here. Um, you know, the features and what all uh, under the world uh, browser stack can offer us is all there. You can go ahead and read it supports, um, you know, uh, you know, real browsers, official mobile emulators. So I feel that, you know, um, browser stack and sauce labs um, on, a, on a large scale almost provide similar features. Um, of course, if you go into the details, there are some subtleties involved um, in how they differentiate each other in uh, providing uh, a product differentiation. For example, um, I've seen that sauce labs provides the uh, videos, um, uh, and it is pretty easy to locate as soon as we execute it. On the other hand, I didn't find the same on uh, the browser stack. Um, uh, on a similar note, interacting with the cloud machine with the browser stack, uh, the usability felt much more smoother and nicer with browser stack. Um, not that, uh, uh, you know, it's not uh, a great experience with Sauce Labs. It is, both are equally good, they're workable and both work fine, uh, but compared to uh, Sauce Labs, interacting with the machine on a browser stack seemed uh, much more uh, uh, slick and smooth. Um, let's take a look at it. So let me log in with my uh, credentials into browser stack. Um, just went ahead and created a, um, <clears throat> a evaluation um, account for myself, okay? Okay, so this is the dashboard as soon as we log in, right? Um, so you can see here there will be a live automate, and then if you click more, you can have screenshots and responsive. I think this responsive is something um, uh, which which is clearly uh, uh, a differentiator, at least from a dashboard perspective, um, between Sauce Labs and uh, Browser Stack. Um, I think Sauce Labs also will let you do that. It's just that they did not highlight this feature on the dashboard. Um, but that's it. So on the left side, what you see here is you know the platform. Click the platform, and you can select uh, any of these platforms here: desktop and mobile and tablet emulators, right? And then once you select, for example, I've selected Windows 7, and then I can go ahead and click the browser. Uh, drop down and then I can select the browser whatever uh, uh, are, are available on Windows 7 so let's go with the defaults let's select 42 and then I can select my resolution as well here you will see the responsive mode where you can resize your browser um, but for now I'm just leaving it with the defaults right um, you can see uh, you have here start testing button which is the same as the start testing here enable local testing this is again um, similar to uh, if you want to test on a private site uh, behind a firewall, I think uh, this will let you do that. Uh, um, so Sauce Labs provides sauceconnect.exe for doing that. And uh, I think browser stack provides uh, browser stack local.exe um, if you're working in an enterprise environment and uh, you, want to, you want to ensure that you're testing on a private site and that the traffic um, between your network, enterprise network, and uh, uh, the browser stack network uh, is secure. So I think the browser stack local.exe will ensure that a secure tunnel is created between your enterprise network and uh, uh, the cloud infrastructure. Okay. Um, there is a capture, a bug. You know, once we start the session, we can see that. Uh, so let's go ahead and start a session here. Uh, you can see test a public URL, test an internal URL. Let me go ahead with the public URL. Right, so if you click start testing, you can see that uh, it's being provisioned right now. Um, a fresh instance is being uh, launched, and you can see that uh, it has launched um, in the responsive mode 1366 by 768, which we had. So, um, here, if you click this, this button, the settings would open up, right? 
Um, you can capture a bug. Let's say I capture a bug. At this point, it takes the screenshot of the current window, right? And um, you know, it opens this new nice editor here. We can uh, annotate uh, any of these and uh, we can save it. If I click save, it would get saved, but for now I'm just going to hit cancel because I already saved one at the left bottom corner. You can see that this uh, image is saved. And this is a hyperlink. You can just share this link with anyone who would like to do it, uh, who would like to take a look at, uh, you know, the, the bug screenshot. Um, the stop button, you can see the red rectangular one here. Um, obviously that would stop it and then at the top right corner you can see dashboard tools if you click this it opens up and you can see it says capture a bug which is the same as the left bottom corner you can also see there are some tool tips and you can scale to fit if you click scale to fit then um, it would uh, obviously the website uh, would uh, scale to fit the screen okay I'm not going to click this but you can go ahead and try this so um, you know interacting with the uh, browser here I feel it very, very smooth and, you know, as if I'm interacting with the browser on my um, host machine, right? It doesn't feel like I'm interacting with the remote machine here. Um, so this experience is what I feel um, is much slick on browser stack um, than uh, Sauce Labs. Uh, but, you know, uh, both are workable, both work fine. Um, I don't have any, uh, uh, the, ex the user experience is, is, is both both are equally good. Um, sorry, both are good, but uh, browser stack is a little uh, better, tad better. So let's see what other options do we have here. Um, I think that's pretty much. Uh, so you know, I'll, I'll uh, stop this, okay? And as soon as I kill it, stopped, right? The session ended. Um, now let's see how automation can be done right so what I did was I clicked the automate button and since I'm using Ruby at this time um, as soon as I clicked automate button right I came to this dashboard where my previous uh, automated executions are listed here right two sessions um, so let me go ahead and uh, first go to the docs and then go ahead and click Ruby um, then if I scroll down you know a sample script is provided for me I just copy pasted this into my Ruby mine Okay, so I copy pasted this, uh, modified this to point it to uh, my website URL and, uh, you know, let the capabilities remain as it is, whatever it says. And then if I go ahead and then run this test and go back to the dashboard, right? Let's say I go back to automate dashboard. You can see that a, a new session is created here and uh, you can see that, you know, I can hit the stop session, interactive session, draw logs. Um, and uh, you know it's it's executing and uh, you can see that you know I can see the live execution in the browser uh, real time right um, now on sauce labs you can also see the same thing just that you would have to uh, step through another page by clicking on the session here if you click the session that's when you actually enter the video okay and uh, the screenshots right text logs visual logs all of the screenshots are embedded in line here right um, and then you can click input capabilities you can see what were the in input capabilities for this session you can see the browser capabilities um, and so on and uh, so forth so you can also see the raw logs if you if you want here right um, and uh, let's see what else um, that's that's pretty much um, what I didn't find here uh, what I found on sauce labs was uh, downloading the video um, so I didn't in, in maybe maybe it's a it's a it's a paid version but sauce labs provides it out of the box even for an evaluation for ab able to download a video um, and uh, save it um, which I didn't find uh, on browser browser stack um, intuitively um, okay so this is a very fundamental um, session on how to use browser stack and how we achieved cross browser testing both in a manual way and in an automated fashion using a, a web driver protocol uh, use selenium uh, which follows the web driver protocol and uh, we have executed a simple test um, so that's that's pretty much uh, for this um, we will uh, we will have more details on the website for mobile stuff right um, thanks for watching this video